does this place kind of, I mean, did it meet your expectations? Did it exceed your expectations? Just what, how, how big a deal is this for you? By far exceeded the expectations. I, I think there's, they went above and beyond uh, thinking about each player, each situation, the, the community, and how we can, you know, best, you know, provide for these guys. Uh, and I think it's something that's, you know, amazing. I mean, they, just the attention to detail in it. Um, super excited about this. How important is it too to have a building that guys want to come to work? I mean, I, I don't think they're going to want to leave. I think there's so many opportunities between a restroom, uh, the, the resting area, the nap area, um, the weight room, the sleep pods, the uh, cryo, the recovery room. I mean, the, there's actually like a game where they can just sit and have, play games. There's the food. I think it's going to be hard to get these guys out of here, which is exactly what you want. Um, now, we won't have, sit down and have to watch film with them all the time, but they'll be able to enjoy this and be around each other, which continues to provide that chemistry that this team already has. In the, um, in the on the court stuff, you're obviously down a couple of guys yeah. already. It happens, I'm sure, but how, how frustrating is it that you're not going to be well, you know, we look at it similar to like to last year. You know, it, it's hard for for you know got Markel and, and Gary for not being on the court with us early, but we've also said in like how we looked at last year and that it provides opportunity for other guys that may have not gotten the opportunity with those guys on the floor. So now it, you can look at the roster a little bit differently in those moments uh, with guys maybe differently handling the basketball or different playmakers, the decision making we've talked about all these guys being able to do. So now we can see a little bit more of that in, without, with guys being out. You've been in this role for a little bit over a year now. Now when you reflect on, I guess, your own growth, your own journey, like what's changed? What have you noticed different about you as a coach? And how does I guess this past year changed you in that sense. That makes sense. I, well, I say it all the time. I'm just, I, I'm so grateful. Like I, I, I cannot, I cannot express it enough. The gratitude that I have for the organization, for the DeVos family, for this community, and how they've embraced what we're doing. Um, the ability to have a fantastic staff that you know sticks with you, and the, no matter what's going on, uh, the ability to encourage each other. So I think it's just been more of that, being able to just empower. Um, our staff and watch everyone grow just watching these guys grow and get better as this thing has gone on That's really truly what has been the best thing to be a part of and see and throughout the offseason The guys have made such a growth and they built that strong brother. What are you expecting of them? This uh, I think more of that I think them understanding exactly what we need to do night in and night out, uh, because obviously bringing back the same roster and then adding some young some younger players through the draft, I think the biggest thing that these guys are going to continue to understand is what we're demanded last year, and now more so it's just at a different scale. The level of detail turns up, uh, the attention to what we're asking continues to grow, and get and they understand exactly what that is. About the summer that you mentioned, accountability, mm -hmm. growth. That, what does that look like on the court in terms of coaching them or in a game? Like, what does accountability in that sense look like? Oh, that's a great question. And and what I say to that is, we talk about our guys leveling up, and for us, it's dominating the simple. It's how do you sprint into screens? Are you setting the screen with the proper angle? Uh, when we're asking you to slip out of a screen, is that what it looks like? Is it a, a certain box out? If we're crashing the glass offensively, did you go? Did you not go? Um, how many times did we have? to tell you to, to go to the glass defensive rebounding um, our ability to make the simple and easy pass and the easy play we asked our guys to be great decision makers and sometimes that has to do with not just the basketball in their hands but it has to do with off the ball when are you cutting when are you moving when you're creating space for your teammate all those things are coming into play because we've walk through all of that through camp last year and through the entire year so now we'll be able to hit home on those even more so now a lot of the guys have been in throughout the offseason there have been some some runs just how competitive do you expect this this camp to be with with the number of the young guys you have all vying for playing time? I, I think it's going to be great. I think it's an opportunity for these guys to really fully compete. Obviously, there's some guys that won't be in because of injury, but I think each spot is going to have a level of competitiveness to it because they're fighting for that position. And we've talked about that because they understand what we were expecting of them last year, and now they know exactly what we're expecting walking into this year. So as they grab a hold of it, they'll be under, able to understand and compete for that spot, knowing what they're expe is expected of them. The two games he played in Vegas, Paul had all eyes on him. Mm -hmm. and 
he wasn't faced. I mean, he played, you know, obviously played great in those two games. Just that little sample size, how much confidence does that give you that when the lights come on for real and it all starts again and all the attention you know, from the outside will be on, you know, this matchup and what he does, the number one thing, oh my gosh. He's not going to be, he doesn't seem like he's going to be phased by it. I, I guess what, that experience in Vegas, what you learn from how he handles those moments? Well, the great part about what he been, went through in college was, you know, it was Coach K's farewell, you know, tour for every arena he walked into. So there was always a level of pressure. You know, he has a tattoo on his arm that says no pressure. And it's, it's spelled a different way for understanding, like he understands what it is and he understands those big moments. The great part about this team that will embrace him is that we talk about doing it by committee. And they'll, you know, you have Markel, who is a number one draft pick. You have Jalen, the number fifth draft pick. You have Wendell, who's been high, you know, all these guys were high picks that they can understand the, the expectation that may be there for him, but they also embrace and able to help him see exactly the things that he's going to expect. But that Vegas experience for him, I thought it was great. I thought he walked into it, uh, understood that on the court, he embraces his teammates. He wants to make the right plays. And then he's, you know, he's, he knows he's playing for something bigger than him. And that's how, that's what he showed. When you have a young court, such a young court, mm -hmm. so much talent, like you said, a lot of lottery guys in that yeah. mix. I know preseason doesn't mean anything, but you put a little more emphasis on situations and things like, I mean, do you have to almost set the tone of winning in the preseason, even though the games obviously don't mean anything? Do you want to get that taste in there? Uh, what I really think it is, is about, are we doing the things that we've asked them to do in camp? Right? That's the thing that's going to stand out more than anything. I think the results are always going to take care of themselves. You're going to win or you're going to lose. And I think if in, in the midst of that, can you say you've done the things that got you to one of them the right way, right? whatever that looks like? Did you set the right screens? Did you pass the ball at the right time? Did you make those quick decisions? Can we evaluate it that way more than, say, look at the result? Because they, our guys understand we did some very good things um, throughout last year and what we built throughout the summer. So can we stick with that process and understand that they're getting better on a daily basis? Coach Jeff Weltman mentioned focusing on the focusing on the little things going into mm -hmm. camp with this young group. How do you plan and he said starting with uh, conditioning. Mm -hmm. How do you plan on coaching conditioning going into training camp? Oh that? that's a great question. I love that one. I could probably put the message out there yeah. on that one. Uh, no, it's, it's going to be playing more because there has to be a level of conditioning that comes with ke chemistry as well. Guys have to be on the floor with each other. I don't know that it's going to be necessarily just running sprints all day, but it will be a lot of playing. They will play a ton more because they have to get a feel for the flow of the game, the rhythm of each other, how their chemistry, uh, how they bond together on the floor. But it'll be more playing than anything. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jeff. I know you're not a doctor and everything, but you've got to go by what you're told. But what's your sense now of Markel when he might be available? How, how is this going to affect his return? Well, I, I think there'll still be a level of conditioning that they're all able to do. So I, we're just going to have to go off of how he responds to the treatment, how he responds to rehabilitation, and how he, with the program that they set in place for him, how he responds to that, we'll be able to tell. Pretty special run with Germany this mm. past summer. What's that biggest area of growth you've seen with him? Not just in those games, but also when you you know you see him play pickup games or just working with him. I, I think his his demeanor and his approach that he's comfortable doing it. Uh, I think if that's if that's the the best way that I can put it, like where he feels comfortable in his ball handling, he feels comfortable being a vocal leader. He felt comfortable kind of helping lead that team. Um, his passion, the way he plays, has just always been great. But I think the one thing that he, f he felt a lot more comfortable, like he was walking in those shoes that, that were given to him, you know, walking, playing with for the, the national team. Kind of like an, uh, I've done this with the Magic, I just, so I know I can do this on this level in that kind of way, in that sense? Yeah, I believe he just, you know, he, he, I, we've said it time and time again, you know, his passion for the game, his work ethic, his basketball IQ are all there. And I think him recognizing it and being in that situation kind of heightened it a, little, a, a, a lot more, which is, was great to see. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.